Here is my eight month old baby American alligator. And because uh, crocodilians, you know, quite often don't get as much exercise and move around as, as they need to in captivity, uh, I offer live food every now and then just to um, get him moving around and, and give him something to do. Uh, so today I got him some nice feeder goldfish and we'll put him in and we'll see what happens. See how good of a hunter he really is. He's watching us, and uh, here's his treat. So we're going to very carefully put it in because I'm not sure how fast he's going to come over. And I want to keep all my fingers. Put him in. Oh. He sees him, but he also sees me. Here he goes. Mmm, delicious. Now it was really cool you saw him, um, I shouldn't talk so loud because he has excellent hearing as well. So when he grabbed that goldfish, he, you know, he got it in his jaws, firmly in his jaws. He's trying to get after another one. He got it firmly in his jaws and then once he had hold of it, he stuck his head out of the water to swallow it. It's because crocodilians have a flap in the back of their throat, um, which prevents water from going in. So they can open their mouths, they can grab food or tear food off underwater, uh, but in order for them to swallow that, they have to move that flap down in the back of their throat. So they need to stick their heads out of the water. If they didn't, uh, they would drown. Let him continue his fishing in peace. He, so far, I've seen him get three. There should be three goldfish left. <laughs> 